What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my satyr and today we are talking about Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lynn. So this is a story about a princess named Shiori. She discovers that she has this power inside of her. She also discovers that her stepmother is a demon and when she discovers this her stepmother freaks out and curses Shiori so that she cannot speak what has happened to her. She has this bowl constantly on her head so nobody can recognize her and she transforms her six brothers into six cranes. The reason she can not speak is because if she utters a sound, if she tries to tell anybody, they will die one by one with each sound she utters. This is so fairy tale. This is so mythology. And once again, from Elizabeth Lim, this is a, you know, East Asian type of mythology. Previously, I read Spin the Dawn by her, and I will go ahead and say off the bat, I liked Spin the Dawn a lot better than I liked Six Crimson Cranes. I like the overall like fairy tale and the myth within Six Crimson Cranes, and it works in theory, but like down in it, it just felt a little bit slow. I, I was really wanting to like be done with this book. I was kind of over it. I was kind of waiting for things to happen. And the last chunk of this book, like I listened to this audiobook, I would say like the last two hours of this audiobook is all exposition, which was greatly needed because by the time I got to the end of the book, I was really confused at why certain things were happening. You really do need that heavy exposition dump, which is kind of disappointing because with a book like this, you really should not be getting all that exposition all at one time. This book is broken up into sections. Like we have, you know, like the beginning where everything's great. We have the curse. And then we have this time where Shiori is trying to break the curse. She's trying to find her brothers. She spends some time at a different palace uh, with a prince, which was interesting. But again, it, it just felt very surface level. I kind of feel like Shiori was the only one who had any kind of character at all to her. But then even then, I didn't really like feel her development. I didn't really feel her growth. She, everything just felt very flat, like a fairy tale normally would. It didn't really feel like we went super in depth into anything. But with that being said, like I don't necessarily think it was bad. I just feel like it could have been a lot shorter. And then if it was trimmed down, maybe it would have made the reading experience just a little bit better. This book does leave off in like a very epic and sweeping way because you know we're kicking off a series going into the next book but I gotta say I'm not interested at all in where the series is going to go I just don't feel attached to these characters I feel like I kind of already know where the story is going and if it's gonna be anything like this one I just am not super in to have that experience again it's weird because like this is her more recent book whereas you know like spin the dawn I felt like we really got to like live with our characters a lot more than we did here, which is unfortunate because we have some relationships that are kind of similar. So like I know that Elizabeth Lim can like write that kind of sweeping story, whereas this one, I don't know if it's just because it's like more low YA or what it was, but it just didn't really hold my attention. So I am giving this book a C minus. I think that the story overall and the premise was really great. I just think that if it had been trimmed down and sh been shorter, it probably would have translated just a little bit better. So I'm not necessarily really sure if I would recommend it, but if it piques your interest, I would still love to know your thoughts on it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!